Delvin CSS version 4. Point one comes with a lot of promises better faster harder stronger now it actually comes with new text shadow utilities we're going to go through over them mask elements with the mask property the mask utility improve compatibility with older browsers fine-grained text wrapping with overflow wrap color drop shadows and many more features now i'm not going to go over what theory css is I will cover that in the Tailwind CSS crash course. Just check out the video before this. So what we are going to do is just go over the features, the new features of Tailwind CSS 4.1. And as we get started, and if you were closely looking at the previous project, so this is the project, just a simple card. The fellow here, a John Doe, two buttons and a dark mode. And we're going to play around with this. And first, let's take a look at how drop shadows work. Or even before that, how we now integrate Tailwind CSS in, for example, in HTML. I'm not going to do here Vita or a React or a framework project, JavaScript framework project. We're just going to work with plain, simple HTML and a little bit of JavaScript. So first of all, in the previous version, uh, basically Tailwind CSS 3, we had a configure file that we would integrate something like this. So I'm just going to comment this style property out and go back to the previous version. Not even going to hit save. So first things first, we had a script tag because this was a tailwind.config.js file where we would have activated, for example, dark mode using as a class. Now, Tailwind CSS dark mode works now seamlessly. Also, we do now, uh, we no longer need to integrate at at Tailwind in the CSS file, we just need to bring it in using import at import CSS. You will know that the at tag exists in CSS and this is the way we can now import CSS. But in order for us to use it in just plain old HTML, basically we would take the EDN on the website and then use a style tag as a type of text, Tailwind, forward slash Tailwind CSS, and we can also activate custom themes with color or a named variable for example the color and activate dark mode using the custom variant dark and on and off and just simply work like this so this is a massive improvement but next up let's talk about a drop shadow now when we have a shadow a simple shadow in tailwind in a dark mode is pretty much useless so what they did I don't know if, if they thought about dark mode, but it pretty much helps a lot with dark mode. They added a so-called drop shadow. You know, for us to activate it on, let's say this card element, I'm just going to go over the main card. And right here after the shadow, you could also take out the shadow if you want. Let's, for example, take out the shadow, no shadow. But now we can add in a drop dra dash shadow, then an XL, which you already add back the shadow. And now we can add some color to it. So drop, then shadow again. And after that, we can add a color. In our case, we're going to add a red. And then if I hit save, nothing happens. We need to add a intensity, let's say 500. Now this is really intense, but it looks great in dark mode. What we can do, we could then reduce the intensity by dividing it from 10 to 100. So let's say I'm going to go with a 10 here, go back here. You can hardly see the shadow, but it's there. And if I go with, let's say, 30, I will see this is perfect. There you go. Drop shadows in Tailwind CSS. Now, they also integrated shadow for text. And we just simply go to our John Doe, our H2 here. In order to trigger the text shadow, we just type in text shadow. And this goes from 2XS, which you can hardly see, to a LG, which well, is pretty noticeable. So there you go. Text shadow. Uh, but that's not all. We could also add color to it. Again, text, then shadow, then the color. Let's go with the red again. And let's do a 200, which is obviously visible. Now I would say a 100 would be perfect. And you can also exaggerate it with a 900 in order to make it really creepy. So let's just go with the 100. Now, furthermore, they added something called mask. And we're going to work with our image here in order to demonstrate how mask works. So mask is kind of like a gradient. It goes from one direction to another direction and with it uh, with some sort of intensity. So for example, I would go, let's see, where's our image? Here it is. Let's go to its class. And by the way, we can we can find everything down in the description below. Uh, the entire code, you could also visit the previous project if you want to go, the crash course, if you want to go step by step through this project and just add these later on. Or you could check out my latest Tailwind CSS course, which is out 
as of two weeks link is down over the description so in order to add a mask to this we just type in mask then from where it should go so i could just what what would look better here let's go with a bottom so mask bottom then from and now we're going to type in the intensity so from 20 percent and mask bottom then again from 80 percent and there you go you should see here a little light now if i go to dark mode it doesn't look that good so for example if i want to create here a radiant mask you could also use the keyword radiant and just going to copy this over and we would ask a mask we would have a mask from the bottom 50 percent a mask radiant between 50 and and then go 90 percent and then mask radiant from 80 percent which is look something like this okay also in dark mode well not the best idea but in uh, in a light mode it looks really good so i would say that these are improvements for tabling css version 4.1 i didn't look like 4.0 but let me hear what you think let me hear your thoughts comment section and with this being said i'm no see you in the next video happy coding bye bye bye, -bye.